Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is Fun. In today's video, we will solve a question of M1, which is part of the syllabus of mathematics. And uh, this question I have taken from June 2017, variant is 4-3. Now, this question will cover all the concept of um, frictional force, Newton's law, resolving forces. So it will be a good revision of many concepts and also of equilibrium. So let's see, I have highlighted the important points in the question. I recommend you do the same when you are reading the question because these are long questions. And note it down. So mass of uh, particle A is mkg in part 1, right, which is unknown here. And particle B has mass 4 kg. This is given in the question as well. And ramp is at 30 degree from the horizontal, with the horizontal. And particle B is hanging freely. Coefficient of friction is given to you. It is 0 0.2. It means mu is equals to 0 0.2 given to you. So now you have noted down all these important points and you have to find out or show that mass of A is 5.94. Show that mass is 5.94 when the system is in equilibrium. What is happening at that time? Particle is about to move directly up. Now what is the importance of this line? Please understand, if it is saying about to move up or at a point of moving up, it means coefficient of, uh, I mean, maximum friction is applying downward. If question will say particle is about to move down at the limiting equilibrium stage, then in that case, friction force will be acting upward, right? This is very important because we need these direction when we will apply Newton's second law of motion. Okay, so in this situation, because particle is about to move up, frictional force we will take maximum frictional force or limiting frictional force downward. Okay, so now let's see here. I have written here what I have explained to you in this diagram. Okay, and this thing you have to notice, which is called, what is this called? Normal force, resultant force, horizontally particle is moving but not vertically on the ramp so that's why this value of r will be same as this value of force which is downward it is mg cos 30 so r will be equals to mg cos 30 right these are the basic thing i hope you understand so after that i have just resolved the force at particle a due to weight in horizontally and vertically with respect to uh, ramp right not with respect to ground Okay, so now see here, I am making equation here at point B, which is the particle hanging and because it is an equilibrium, so T which is acting upward will be equals to 40 Newton because 4 kg is the mass multiplied by G which is 10, so it is 40 Newton, right? So now we will see second equation which is at A, okay, here. So at A, if you see, particle will move down, which is due to this force, right? So at A, if you see, T which is acting upward, T is equals to mu R and mg sine 30. So this is what I have written here because it is an equilibrium. So forces in the opposite direction are balancing each other. So now I have gotten two equations here equation 1 and equation 2 and I'm solving it simultaneously and I got the value of m which is 5.94 kg and this was I have to shown so I can write here shown now let's see part 2 I have given the diagram again here so that you can relate it now what is happening in this case you have to find the total distance traveled by particle a when you release the system and it is released from rest so before we read the question what comes in your mind you need to understand the situation only then you will be able to solve the question now what comes in the mind because question is telling you here we have to assume that a does not reach b time limit is not given nothing is given mass is changed Albert. right mass is 3 now and that's why i've written here 3 kg or 30 newton and accordingly it is 30 cos 30 uh, 30 cos 30 and 30 sin 30. Anyway, so if I release the system, what will happen? What you can think? 
so the thing is because a string is taught when particle b will hit here the ground suppose particle a is here at that point right a string will remain taught during this time but the moment particle b will hear the tension will finish a string will get slack but because particle a was in motion it will continue moving up but at the same time what will change acceleration will change velocity will change so from this stage to the stage when it will come instantaneously at rest which question is talking about you will have to find a new acceleration here right and you have to find out this distance because this distance you don't need to find what is the reason that is the distance when b was moving downward and that distance was 0.5 meter so i know this distance will be 0.5 meter so i would have to find out this distance and then add up the two distances so this is the situation here so now let's start solving the question stepwise and you will be able to make connections here i'm just cleaning it up board okay now let's see when particle a is moving up we will apply newton's second law of motion right this is the particle a so what is the newton's second law of motion because it is about to move up or it is now moving up maximum frictional force is downward so what it is now t minus mu r minus 30 sin 30 right this is your resultant force and this is what i have written here is equal to 3a and r is 30 cos 30 which i have explained to you earlier in part one so i'm simply substituting the value and i got equation one this is about particle a now let's see particle b because it is moving downward so i will write 40 newton minus t is equals to 4a agreed so i will have another equation here and then i will solve equation one and equation two simultaneously so you can try out this is simple algebra so i have solved it here for you right i solved it in advance because changing different colors will take time and video will get very long uh, explanation of mechanics itself take a lot of time so that is the purpose okay so you got your acceleration that is the acceleration when the particle was moving up now part two which we are still solving right now you see i have written here the description for you when particle b hits the ground a reaches to the position of ball blue ball here which i explained to you earlier when b hits the ground it means the velocity of b here when it hits the ground will be same as the velocity of particle a when it will reach at this point agreed so now because i have to calculate this distance i need this velocity i will use um, constant acceleration formula so i will need this velocity and this will be zero so that is not my problem the problem is how to find out this velocity and i can find this velocity with the help of this area because it is same so now let's see here i have done it here for you you can see here just a minute okay so now you can see here u is zero i'm talking about this part initial velocity of b is zero final velocity we are finding out distance is 0 0.5 meter and acceleration was what 2.829 which we have found here agreed so now using this formula v square equals to u square plus 2s i found the velocity 1.682 so the velocity here of particle b is same as velocity of particle a at this point i will use this velocity now to work on this part okay so now i know for particle a at position b the velocity is 1.62682 and at orange it is zero so what is happening now what i have written here at this point if you see there is no forward force right but still there is frictional force because particle is moving so maximum friction will remain there and this backward force due to weight 30 sin 30 will also be there so i can say 0 minus mu r minus 30 sin 30 okay this is i'm writing because you need to understand how we are getting minus signs okay so this is what i have written here 
and when I solved it, I got acceleration minus 6.73. And that is fine because object is slowing down as it is moving up. So now I have the new acceleration for this part. I have the velocity, I have this velocity, distance I have to find out. So now if you see here, what I have done here, written the values which I'm telling you and calculated my distance in that portion. So now distance is 0 0.1210, earlier it was 0 0.5. So you add up and you will get the new distance. I hope you understood. I have kept um, writing here earlier explanation basically so that you can see what I'm talking about. I hope it is clear. Thank you very much for watching. Please press like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Take care. Allah Hafiz.